Right, off on a little adventure I go. So, uh, I've been looking at this new trail for quite a few days actually. And it kind of takes me near the river, the River Thames. And there are two parts of it, so I'm kind of joining halfway along and I'll leave the other half for another day. I think. So I'm just going to go through this village here and then uh, then eventually hit some back roads and uh, well, see how far I get with it. So I've never ridden it before, this one. Um, I don't know if it's blocked off in certain areas. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's a bit of a fact-finding mission really for me. See, uh, well, basically see how it pans out. Yeah, very nice. Lovely evening, really warm. It's been a bit of a scorcher today. No, not really high temperatures, we've just been you know, really humid. So, coming out in the evening now, it seems to have dried out a little bit and it's a little bit cooler. It's cool on the bike as well, so that's uh, it's all fine and dandy. Well, this is a nice little bit. Yeah. I wonder what's through there. So there's a locked off gate there, unfortunately. Bet you there's access into that forest though. So just past the forest on the right hand side, yeah, my typical self, always seeing if there's uh, access points, uh, you know, public access points into there. So go and investigate. That's for another day, I think. Right, so be pretty much joining the trail very shortly. Just get off the uh, this black stuff and uh, see how far I get. No, that's not it. No, definitely not. Uh, is it there? No, I don't look like it. It's very close. Here, so I think it could be this one actually. Let me just see. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay, so... There we go. I knew it was. Let's go and see what's, uh, what's happening here. Uh, just drop this down a bit. You know, they might have closed this trail off, actually. I wonder, I wonder if it's this one here. This is a cool one, isn't it? Let's go down here. Some stump shown in there. Nice. Just keep the visor down here a little bit. Just in case something flicks up into my eyes. Got the roots. Always conscious of the tree roots. Let's just see where this takes me. Uh, yeah, straight on, I think. Look down here. Nice. That was a cool little one, wasn't it? Typical. Let's see if I can do that. Do that. There we go. The gravel track here. Just like sand, you just need to let the front tire find its own way a little bit, you know. 
Alright, so I need to do a left or a right now, so I'm going to have to actually just go a left. Something about the sun, isn't it? It just uh, makes people more, usually, a lot friendlier and nicer. You know? Everybody's a bit more relaxed. I mean, funny enough, strangely enough, I prefer the winter. I like the when it's raining and bleak, but I mean, that's just me. But in general, you know, people are happier when it's sunny, isn't it? Aren't they? All right, let's, uh... All right, let's go this way, see. This way. sure nobody's coming the other way. Yeah, nice. Very nice indeed. Just going to take it easy along here. You never know who's walking or riding a horse in the opposite direction. Or just generally walking. So. I'm not sure if you're picking this up on the camera, but the sun's really low on the horizon. It's kind of right in the eye line as well. So I've got the visor down, but sometimes the visor doesn't really help that well because it's you know sort of glares across it. And I've taken the sun visor down off because sometimes you know you you, you miss out the, the tiny little things that you need to see, you know, especially when you're going through the trees. So. Yeah, look at this one. Going down a bit of a hill now. Bit of a camera coming left, so just take watch that. When I when I talk about cambers, I'm really I'm not really talking about road cambers. I'm really talking it's actually sloping. There is a definite slope left and right. You know what I mean? You know, it's cambers sometimes. You know, on on road, you know, you think oh, okay, it's not that bad. It's just a little bit of a slope up or down. You know. Nice. Nice right now. Where do I go now? Yeah, so basically I'm going to be up and down some hills now. And eventually uh, go down. I mean, the contours are really tight here, so there's going to be some steep sections. So I'm just going to take it easy. Got a bit of a Right turn, it's a ferry. Let's see where this one takes me. Just goes straight through here, does it? Wow, look at this, look at that timber. Nice. Now, what's that in the trees there? Oh, 
Oh wow, look at these trails, man. Yeah. Now where do I go? Go straight on or left? Down here. It's telling me to turn left, so let me turn left then. Yeah. Yeah, some, yeah, you see where it's rained already, it's actually created a few channels there. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, something to uh, always be aware of, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, I see a horse has been through here today. Sort of churned it up a little bit, which is fine. Uh, I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to make sure I'm in off-road mode, I think. Because I'm just going to get caught out here, I think. Give it a bit of beans, which is not what I normally do. Just, just get to the crest here. Uh, go left here. some farm buildings. Make a right turn here. There's a wood chopping machine there, wood log splitter. And then come down here I think. It's down here. Go this way then. I think I'm going to meet up with another trail down there actually. So, yeah, let me go down there because that's the trail I actually want to be on. Let's see if it joins up. Okay. Just squeezing on the front brake here, got lots of routes which I'm going over here. Quite a steep descent as well. So just making sure that I'm getting everything at 90 degrees and keeping it all in control. Yeah. More so just making sure that I'm not going to get into a situation, or hopefully not going to get into a situation where, you know, I'm stuck and I need to yeah, right, so. Do I go left? I go left here, I think, don't I? 
This way, left. Possibly, possibly. Well, yeah, I think this is on the train again. Nice. Nice. Look at this beauty, and it's sweeping as well. Just sweeping beds, and it's flat. No more roots on this one, so this is good. Yeah. Like a couple of branches sticking out there, the greenery. I saw it right the last minute. That's what I mean, sometimes you have the sun visor down, and you know, you kind of lose quite a bit of detail. So I'm going to have the, the front visor down, the clear visor down, but the, when I'm riding through here, I tend to take it off quite a bit. The, uh, the sun visor, that is, anyway. Well, look at this. Right, so basically just come off the hills there. Wow. Brilliant. Got a real slope on the right hand side. There's grass built up on either side here, so I'm just going to come out that rut and just take the easier path here, which is by now, you know, you could uh, say is my mantra always take it easy, take, take the easiest route that you can. So you want to enjoy it, don't you? I mean, that's the thing, you want to enjoy this. I swear one day I'm going to come out into a field of marijuana plantation or something. You know, you get right into the back roads, the back trails, and you know, it's, you're completely isolated, there's nobody here. So, you wouldn't be surprised if somebody's doing some dodgy stuff sometime. <laughs> and little old me comes across it and, uh, yeah. Beauty. All right, so this is the end of this section. Coming down there. This is definitely horse country here, you can see all the paddocks and everything. But they can can get a little bit uh, feisty sometimes with motorbikes as well. That's why, you know, I keep on saying it, I say it over and over again, you know, that's why I always ride really low revs. Just, you know, take it easy through these uh, lanes, country lanes and trails and everything. Even if you do come across something, it's all about attitude, isn't it? It's all about, you know, being pleasant and not being uh, aggressive and not being obnoxious the way you're riding you know uh, I, hey it works for me put it that way um, never had an issue to date anyway touch wood uh, never had uh, any issues today so right so that's that one oh, okay gotcha I know where I am now
beautiful. This is Maple Durham House here. It's huge. It's massive. But I've been looking at a lot of these uh, at the houses recently, and uh, you know, a lot of these, um, you know, a lot of these houses got their own churches as well. You know, would you believe? You know, I'm sure they had them at some kind of folly. It's like sort of some kind of statement in the old days. Oh, look at my big house, and I'm the Lord of the Manor, and I've got my own church. I know they're all very God-fearing folk back in those days, but you know, wow! Just look at this sunset. The way it's just casting the shadows on the, you know, off the trees. Amazing. Lovely colours. Beauty. Surprised this this uh, farm track is all concreted down, you know, and tarmac down. I was expecting it to be a dirt track, to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, no, it's uh, it's pretty good, you know. Evening. this. Ah, I wonder if this has all been closed off. You bugger. I wonder, I wonder. I wonder. So, uh, I don't know. So basically this weekend it's a Reading Festival and I was just over it uh, today and this is the entrance to one of the car parks on the north side of the river and they actually for the festival they actually build a bridge would you believe that crosses a river like a footbridge so you got lots of campers on this side walk over and basically what you can see over the right hand side there that's the, the start of the car park and there's obviously car parking on the other side as well that's a massive, massive sight. Nice. I know in these hills here, there's this very steep to the left here, uh, going up, and there's lots of sort of uh, mountain biking trails, and uh, you know some serious stuff going on up there. Quite a few, you know, some decent runs actually. I mean, you know, going up here would be a bit of a sob, but actually, I think they usually coming downhill. They go right to the, the top of the ridge, and they just come straight down. And it's like almost like little, little. Um, you know, rivulets coming down, you know, it's, it's great. Good evening. Even if people don't say hello or good evening back, at least I've said it to them. At least I've, uh, I've been the bigger man. Uh. Well, I think I'm coming to the end of this ride. This has been such a cool evening ride. I've got to say, you know, it hasn't been sort of challenging or, you know, sort of too technical or anything like that. Uh, it's just been pretty much flat tracks. Yeah, a couple of narrow, ruttish ish bits and pieces but apart from that now nothing has been fine absolutely fine 
Right, now this is where... Oh no, that's right, I thought it was going to be blocked off or something. Right then, well, I hope you enjoyed that ride in times, and uh, I'll say I'll... Uh, it was, a, it was a pity you didn't get more of a, a better view of the Reading Festival site, because it is, I must say, it is actually an impressive site. But I'll, I'll see what I can do about that the next couple of days. Right, and sort of add it in here. Right, hope you enjoyed that one. Catch you on the next Riding Times, whenever that is. Okay, bye-bye.